Right, in this video I'm going to show you how you can actually make up this ultra-fast drilling and tapping jig using an old engineer's V-block. The jig is used to drill and tap square holes in any size bar and to actually drill and tap them dead square. The jig can also be used to actually drill nice and square in flat bar, like this. And you can actually use ordinary cordless drills to do the drilling. So now I'll just show you several scenes of drilling and tapping this piece here. And then I'll show you how I make it on the Chinese mini lathe. So firstly I just put a dot where I want my first hole and I'm going to be drilling and tapping this one through a grub screw or whatever to lock it onto another bar. Then I get the V block which has been drilled and tapped for 12 millimeter thread and you can use either V depending on what size bar you're going to use. I place that in this V here and line up the dot you can actually put the bar in the vise to do this and make it a bit easier for yourself If you haven't got one of these U clamps, you can actually just make up um, one of these and that one will go over the bar and lock it in the Vs. So to do the drilling, I've got this piece of thread here, 12 millimeter thread, and I've drilled it out for the actual core diameter drill that I'm gonna be using, because I'm gonna be using 2BA tap. That one screws into the V block. And I've ground up a piece of hacksaw blade just to screw that one right home. It screws up down onto the bar, but there's no need to over tighten it. It's just nipped up so it's at its full depth. And now I can use that core drill to actually drill straight through. The bar's hollow, so it'll drop in a bit. Um, when I drill through, I withdraw the drill several times to clear the swarf. And I know that when I actually go through, the hole's going to be dead square in that bar. So now I have another piece of 12mm thread which has been drilled out to the actual diameter of the tap. So I remove this one now that I used for the drill. And put this one in there. And again, screw it down to actually touch the bar. And now when I tap that hole, I know the thread is going to be dead square and dead center in that bar.
and that's it right so on the Chinese mini lathe I'm using my four jaw independent chuck and I've put the um, V block in that chuck you can see that um, two jaws around one way and then the other two around the other way and I've brought the center drill in um, the center drill is just a little bit smaller than the actual groove in the V block and I've locked up the tailstock and now I can actually sight down from the top here through this groove and see that it's going to um, drill dead centre and if not you can just move the jaws um, either way until you get that dead right so on this one I'm doing it a little bit different to the one that I showed earlier I'm having it dead centre obviously in the groove but the other way I'm having it off centre so that the drilled hole will be um, towards one side and that will give much more room for the actual clamp to go on there. And you can actually sight down through the groove this way and this way just to check that it's dead centre to that groove. And whenever I set up anything like this where there's an overhanging jaw I always spin the chuck by hand first before I actually start the lathe up. And because it's off balance, you only have a very slow spindle speed like that. And one thing I forgot to mention there, if you're doing off-centre work like this and drilling right the way through, always check first that the drill isn't going to hit the back of the jaws. So the core diameter for a 12mm thread is 10.2. I haven't got one of those, so I'm going to just use a 10mm one.
judging by the swarf that's coming off, I think this is uh, just a steel um, V block. I don't think it's actually cast iron at all. All the others that I've done like this before have been cast iron. But no, I can see this one is definitely steel. It's been homemade. I can, I can actually see the milling marks on the side. And some of you may ask why I'm not actually doing this on my bench drill. The reason I'm not doing it on the bench drill is because when you drill into a V like this, there's a great tendency to actually um, snatch in the work, the drill. And also because I'm going to be um, tapping with a large um, tap, I actually want to start it off in the lathe so I get it dead square and then finish it off in the vise. And I think the best tapping chuck on a lathe is one of these 80mm self-centering chucks which I've mounted onto a back plate and onto a MT2 taper. So the jaws actually hold on the square of the tap. And if this one was cast iron I would actually tap it um, with just a bit of WD-40 or even dry. But because this one is steel, I'm going to use a bit of cutting compound. And the cast iron ones are actually much easier to tap than this steel one. And that's the block part finished. And then to finish off, I just use a piece of studding or um, cut off from a 12 millimeter Allen bolt face off both ends, centre drill and drill through with the drill that you actually want to drill through on the jig with. So if you're doing um, tapping just drill through with the core diameter for the certain tap that you're going to use and then drill through another piece for the actual overall diameter of that tap. And then to make it quick I do a hacksaw cut in the centre 
and like I showed earlier a hacksaw blade which I've actually ground down either side to actually fit that one and then obviously it's got to be thin enough so that it actually goes down the bore when you're screwing it in and it's really quick and easy to actually make up a set of these for all the different size drills and taps that you'll be using.